Hello knife lovers, welcome back to Knife Delights. Boy, I have what I think is uh, going to be a fun and exciting review, and I hope you the viewers enjoy it. Uh, what we have is a traveling knife review. Let me explain what that means. I have this knife, and I am going to review it. It will be an independent review of anyone else, and when I'm done with it, I'm going to put it in the mail to the next reviewer, and that channel will review it and send it on to the next reviewer. Uh, a few of us channels got together and thought this would be kind of a fun and neat thing to do. Each one of us evaluating and reviewing the, the very exact same knife independent of one another. Also, this knife is going to end up with uh, Jersey Knife Guy. We know that uh, he's kind of talked about it a little bit on his channel. Him and his wife are going through some tough times. So we want this knife to go to him and stay with him and hopefully uh, bring a little cheer to his household. Let him know that the knife community is thinking of him. So, without further ado, here it is. It is a Marbles Canoe. A Marbles White Smooth Bone Canoe. And this is really an ad hoc review for me because I don't know if I've ever seen or held a marbles. I know I haven't ever owned one. So this is a totally new brand for me to review. So what we have is a two spear point blades. They do have the match uh, strike nail nick there. Shot of the tang stamp and on the reverse, got the model number MR580 in China. Does have half stop, yeah, both blades have half stops. Now, there's not a lot of snap to this smaller blade, it'll snap shut. But it's pretty soft in the opening. Now I'm not going to do anything with it. I'll, I want the next reviewer to, to see that and feel that. Sometimes you can clean them out and work with them a little bit. And it gets uh, some snap to it. But I'm just going to let it be for now. It is mirror polished. And it has a pretty good polish to it. Get my fingerprints and stuff off of it. So we got nickel silver uh, bolsters and pins. And you can, you can feel the pins just slightly. That one's very smooth. And just a little, little bit of drag on this center one here. Yeah, the center pin just slightly proud. A little snag there, not much. You look at the transitions here. Look to be pretty smooth. Take a close up of the white bone there and you see the little speckles in there. Very pretty looking knife. It's got brass liners. There's a, there's a bit of a gap along here. Not tremendous. And just a little bit of a gap here. Slightly gap there. But you know what? Overall, the fit and finish is pretty good on this knife. And just so you know, the cost was right around $10 for this knife. So... You know, it's definitely a budget knife, but, you know, for a $10 knife, it's looking pretty good to me. We'll put it on the scale here, see how much it weighs. And it's coming in at 2.6 ounces. Of 
Try to get some blade length here. So it looks like we have a cutting edge of just around one and a half inches, kind of an overall length of two inches on the on the blade itself. And we got about two and a half inches of cutting surface on the main blade. Maybe, uh, let me see, we'll move down here a little bit. Almost two and three quarters overall length, somewhere in there. So what do you, the viewers, think? Is this a knife that you might want to have? Again, for $10. Pretty sweet looking. Feels good in the hand. Take a look at the box here real quick. So here's the marbles box that it came in. A couple of moose there. And on one cover here, they have the uh, office and factory of the Marble Safety Axe Company, 1907. For every hour in the open, marbles. So there you have it. That's a quick and dirty knife review on the Marbles uh, Smooth Bone Canoe. I hope you've enjoyed it. I look forward to getting this into the mail to the next reviewer, and, and I can't wait to see what everybody else has to say on this. So I'm just going to say I'm not letting the cat out of the bag because he's not going to see this video till he's done his. So I'm just going to say, uh, Jersey, I sure hope you enjoy the knife. Until next time, everyone just have a delightful time expanding your knife collection.